Welcome back to Life Tips. Dr. Manju here with you. In today's video, we'll be discussing the exciting findings from a recent study on the combined effects of exercise and diet for individuals who are overweight and have prediabetes. The study, conducted by researchers at the Center for Human Nutrition at Washington University School of Medicine, has shed light on the remarkable benefits that exercise can provide when combined with a diet program. So, if you or someone you know is struggling with prediabetes or weight management, this video is a must-watch. Let's dive into the details. Well, here we go. The study compared two groups, one group following a diet program and exercise training, and the other group following the diet program alone. The results were striking. The group combining diet and exercise experienced twice the improvement in insulin sensitivity. A crucial factor in managing prediabetes, compared to the diet-only group. Furthermore, the researchers discovered that exercise not only enhanced insulin sensitivity but also resulted in changes at the genetic level. Promoting the growth of new mitochondria, improving energy metabolism, and stimulating the growth of new blood vessels and muscles. Interestingly, there were no significant differences between the two groups in terms of markers related to inflammation or gut bacteria composition. We reached out to Dr. Sergio P. Ramoa, a renowned expert in obesity treatment, who emphasized the significance of exercise in managing prediabetes and overall health. Dr. Ramoa stressed that exercise improves insulin sensitivity by optimizing glucose control through GLUT4, the primary insulin-driven glucose transporter. Kelsey Costa, a registered dietitian and health research specialist, also shared her insights highlighting how the study findings support the integration of exercise training with a calorie-restricted diet to enhance insulin sensitivity and metabolic health. Prediabetes is a warning sign for an increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. But lifestyle changes can often prevent or delay its progression. Previous research has consistently shown that exercise is highly recommended as a primary treatment for type 2 diabetes. Moderate to vigorous exercise for 150 minutes per week, combined with dietary and behavioral changes, can have a significant impact on preventing, delaying, or even reversing the disease. Different types of exercise, including aerobic and resistance training, are effective in controlling blood sugar levels, and timing exercise after a meal can offer additional advantages. Despite the clear benefits of exercise, obstacles to physical activity within the overweight and prediabetes population often hinder its integration into weight loss programs. Implementing a structured exercise regimen, as seen in the study, can be challenging depending on individual lifestyles, health statuses, and available resources. However, the results of this study suggest that clinicians should consider ways to incorporate more structured exercise into weight loss protocols. While public health initiatives should focus on making exercise programs more accessible, the research clearly demonstrates that exercise, when combined with a diet program, offers significant advantages for individuals who are overweight and have prediabetes. Not only does exercise improve insulin sensitivity, but it also leads to positive genetic changes in muscles, promoting overall function and health. If you're dealing with prediabetes or weight management issues, remember that exercise is a powerful tool that can help you on your journey toward better health. As always, consult with healthcare professionals for personalized guidance and recommendations. Thank you for watching today's video. We hope you found the information enlightening and inspiring. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on health and wellness. If you have any questions or personal experiences related to exercise, diet, or prediabetes, feel free to share them in the comments below. Stay active, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video.